damn. Ah, guys, let's get into it. Let's quickly switch to caster mode and let's catch up with EGC TV. So we have B as Ottomans this time and Beastie as Delhi. Now we saw, you guys know how I feel about Ottomans at this point. You guys know Ottomans I think is a nice aggressive sieve, very good in feudal and a lot of people who play Ottomans, they're all inning in feudal and that's what I told you guys earlier. I don't think that Beastie is going to, um, oh, not Beastie, that B is going to let this get to a 2TC game. So we're going to see what Delhi can do with this, but because I feel like Delhi has a very strong feudal as well. The moment you snatch those relics up, you're in such a good position. So Beastie is definitely, he's going for the berries very early on. I mean, that's what Delhi does. He gets the gold, plain and simple. Um... And he did go for the mosque, which is something we haven't seen in our other Delhi games. Because the other Delhi games have been <laughs> a little bit on water, a little bit on that, a little bit of pressure. So he's going normally, he's getting the upgrades. All the upgrades are going as normal, except for wood. And he has some good sheep loot as well. Let's go see what the sheep count looks like on this side. B did not get that lucky with the sheep this time. So Beastie was the sheep snatcher in this case. Very nice. Okay, but military school is a military school. It pumps out free units, so the free units are going forward. All right. B is going to see... Oh, that's interesting. Three on gold. Oh, food villages. Very nice. Thank you. And Beastie Scout. What is Beastie Scout saying? Let's go see. Where's your Scout, Beastie? Oh, Beastie Scout. Where are you? Where are you? Not in the game anymore. <laughs> I don't know where Scout is. I'm, I guess I lost him. I lost BC Scout, guys. I'm a bit sorry. Oh, there he is. There he is. We found BC Scout, guys. <laughs> he is going to see the age up. I mean, that's very standard. Six villager age up as well. This is most likely due to the fact that B did not get a lot of sheep. And also, he didn't bring a sheep home. So right now, he's like, oh, I need food, guys. I need food. <laughs> So, Tower of Victory. Ooh, Tower of Victory. I like it. Yes, you just go heal. Yeah, just heal, just heal. You can most likely out heal this guy. Let's see, let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spearman, come, come fight. Come fight. Come fight the healer. What are you gonna do? Heal. Yeah, yeah. You're gonna heal. Very nice. That thing is being healed up at the speed of light. Yes. Nothing you can do much against the healy boy, but. You tried, good sir, you tried. And as Ottomans, you don't want to lose your free units. Because Ottomans, that is your advantage. Now, these boys are just going to be finishing their sheep. The delivery should be coming in at any moment, once you're ready to deliver, good sir. And Beastie Scout still has one sheep, only one. And the Tower of Victory is coming up. So, with the Tower of Victory... Um, I know that the Tower of Victory signifies that you are going for early aggression. I'm expecting Beastie to cancel this and go for that one. But I'm not sure how important it is for him. Yes, that's exactly what he did. So, he un... Yeah, he does that yet again. And he is ready to just heal his units up. Tower of Victory doing what it does. And these villagers are most likely just going to... Um, attack him now and again. But Beastie's APM is pretty good, so he shouldn't be in too much of trouble. So, let's see from the military school, he's getting Sapahi, which is basically horsemen, and he doesn't have enough stone to get his second one, so the timing he missed out a little bit on that, he doesn't have enough stone, he doesn't have enough wood either. So you can see B putting some panic villages on these, because when you are Ottomans, you most likely want to make sure that you have enough... You have enough resources to make a secondary a second military school the moment it's ready so he just used a little bit of his wood here as well beast timing is just a little bit off right now so as you can see he's he's now has enough for that so he just needs enough stone as well so he's losing maybe one unit on his on his timing but it's not the end of the world for him so this guy is just going to heal up and Beastie should be going for some units pretty soon, but I see he is favoring <laughs> some other things instead. 
<laughs> of course. As BC does. He's like, oh, I, I need another backsmith. I don't need units. What, what are units anyway? So that's the nice thing about going on berries this early. Because he went on berries knowing that Ottomans is a very aggressive sieve. I really hope he starts moving these. So he went on berries because they're not a safe food source. They're all the way out here. And all his sheep is still perfectly fine in the base. So if he now needs to go back and get sheep as a food resource, it's quite easy to do so. So Delhi is a very a, a sieve that really struggles with food. And as you can see, he doesn't really have any other safe food sources. Back here, it's not really safe. So he needs to take care of his sheep. And he needs to do a lot of damage early on. So this upgrade is going to come through in one minute. This means that he's going to start moving his scholars all the way to the sacred sites as well. And start getting some pressure on there too. Now, we are seeing that the archer range is up. So we're going to see an archer. As simple as that. These boys are getting gold because these two are so focused on these two villi or three villages at the front, they don't really realize that they could be punishing the gold, which is way more valuable in this case. He's also getting a stable because Delhi is very good with stables and arches. Very nice. So Beastie is getting his upgrades. Very much unlike all the other pros that we've been watching. So guys, I've been saying this a few times. I think that the pros recently haven't gotten a lot of upgrades, which has been very strange for me. Uh, they haven't prioritized double um, double blacksmith like others. And Beastie has been telling me that's the way you should go because he's been giving me advice on Delhi. And I'm not, I'm not sure why people aren't going for double upgrades. If you can survive the initial onslaught, then you have to do it, right? So <laughs> we do see B also going for upgrades, which is very unlike any other games we've seen. Not from him, from everyone. <laughs> um... And we are probably going to see a little bit of a defensive beastie just until his power spike kicks in. So, just consistently make units, live your best life, go get the sacred sites. That should be the plan moving forward. Horses are out, archers are going to help them as well. And the upgrades are about to kick in for a few of these, but not the important ones just yet. So, this, the capturing will begin though. So now, the Ottomans are supposed to be... A in a, I feel that the Ottomans are in a, a little bit of a disadvantage in this matchup. I don't know. I think that Delhi is very strong. <laughs> Maybe I'm, I'm wrong on this one, but I think that Delhi has the advantage in this. Just because Delhi is stronger. Well, Delhi is also strong in feudal, and that's where Ottomans really shines. Oh, my nose is so itchy. <laughs> okay. Big bets incoming, my goodness, 2.6k? You guys are trusting Beastie a lot with your points. Oh damn. Okay, he's playing it safe. Somewhat safe. Not completely safe. Oh, hey, hey, you need to stand on that sacred side, otherwise you're not capturing it, good sir. On this side, the scout is just chasing the other scout. But now, this is where Ottomans... Ooh, you didn't capture the sacred side, you didn't capture the sacred side, Beastie, go back! Okay, he's like, oh shit, I didn't capture the sacred side. <laughs> okay. Otherwise, the scout is just doing his best thing. He's just running around, chasing the scout around. And we're probably going to see the next sacred sign as well. Now, Beastie is continually using his resources. You guys can see he's not floating any resources. Everything is being accounted for. He's using every piece of wood, every little bit of this, every little bit of that. He's getting all the upgrades he needs to. And these upgrades are about to kick in. Upgrade in. And this is where it starts getting a little bit trickier for B. They both have the same upgrades, but Beastie has units that he used the money on instead. And especially the fact that he has healers is going to cause some problems. Now, B is coming for the harassment from the side, and honestly, it, it'll it work. Oh, wait, Beastie with the reaction time, hot huh? damn, sir. Oh, those are fast fingers, huh? ain't it? <laughs> Guys, you got to deal with this. This is what happens if, if you watch Wham and stream. So, anyway... So, now, I see Beastie Cutie Persona. Oh, oh, I see that there's a, a chat in here. All right. Now, in this game, we can see that... Oh, let me just make sure that we are on the case with the Sacred Site as well. So, over here... Let's see if they can capture it. B is not putting enough pressure down here at all. Mmm. And this guy going down to... I honestly don't know if 
If B can come back from this, it feels like it's very straightforward. My goodness. Very, very straightforward. Okay. He's getting both at the same time. B cannot even contest one of them. He could if he sends everything on one side. This might be a little bit bad for Beastie. He might lose a lot of units if B goes directly for this. Oh, he is coming close. I don't know if he's going to get this up fast enough. No, definitely not. That might be a dead a dead scholar, but he might capture the sacred side anyway, just for that extra oof. And if he gets that, oh, he doesn't. Oh, he got this. He, oh, no, he didn't get them up in time. Ah, that was close. That was close. But he gets the other sacred side and he will be moving his units that way. The thing is, when we are working with gold, um, Beastie is getting free ones. And right now, that's all he needs. He just needs to make units. He just needs to survive this initial onslaught with these um, upgrades as well coming in. And that should be good for him. Even though he doesn't approach Sacred Side victory for very long, he will be able to ensure this. So anyway, let's see if they keep going. Beastie is going to keep making units. He knows Ottomans has free ones. So every trade that he makes, he needs to come out favorably. And he's going to come out favorably by going into B's base. Because B is in his base. <laughs> he's like, I don't need to worry. I can support my economy easily. Very, very easily. So, yes. Let's see how this is going to go. Straightforward into his base. Easily. All his healers are around. So every time he takes damage, he's just going to be healed up to full. B is getting a lot of... Oh, idle time there. But Beastie lost a lot of units. That was not the cleanest transition on his part. He was a little bit sloppy here. And in his base, B is doing the same. I mean, this guy, is on, he's on point. B is a Chad. Chad, as hard as you can, you know? <laughs> yeah. The thing is, when I play Delhi, it doesn't look like this. When I play Delhi, I'm like, oh, I need to go for Castle. <laughs> I don't have this kind of aggression. This is amazing. Um, but even with Ottomans, like, B is putting all the pressure he can. I just feel like Delhi is so favored in this matchup right now. So maybe it's just a ma matter of picking in this case. Now, the upgrades are through for Beastie and for B as well. B is matching the upgrades. So this has been really good on B's part. He's honestly really staying with this and he's fighting against it so, so well. And on this side, he is causing Beastie to also have idle time. This is, he's really keeping up with Beastie's speed and Beastie's moves. So the only thing Beastie has going for him is he's got some sacred sites. But regarding income, both of them are struggling a little bit, as we can see. I'm going to put it on, keep it on gold per minute, because right now, this is what matters. Right now, we have a lot of pressure from both sides. And I feel like B could rinse him here. He just needs to... Okay, he could get an extra archer. Hey, 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 archer, what are you doing out there? Okay, get a, get another one. Get another one. Hey, hey, oh. And these... The thing is, horses beat archers, but I don't know if they beat archers with that many scholars as well. And those horses are not... or Those archers are not doing too much damage against them. So if those archers turn around and snipe a little bit, they could get a few. But B is putting on really good pressure. B looks really good in this game right now and he's also got his scholar healing up we are getting beastie back here getting the sacred site multitask master thank goodness for him but in this case b might be cleaning up if he snipes correctly but it doesn't look like he is going to be sniping correctly he's sending his army to the sacred site to try maybe maybe he's sending it oh no he's going for the aggression he doesn't realize that beastie also has a big army here he might have sacrificed the army over here a uh, sacrificed but it he's still not looking too bad those scholars are doing a lot of work the horses are down so it, th it does feel like he's gonna lose a lot more but this is a very evenly matched fight i'm a little bit worried i don't know which way this is going <laughs> This is really scary. Let's look at the top fight. The top fight, these scholars, I have never seen them. Oh, they're all just praying. They're praying like, oh, heal. Heal, sir. Heal. Heal. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Uh, there we go. Oh, oh, he's go. But he's losing a lot of scholars as well. So both of them taking significant damage on both of their sides. And those scholars are healing, but they're not healing up fast enough. The nerf on the healing really impacts Delhi's fights here. Because if that nerf didn't come through, I can imagine this fight would have been very, very one-sided. So on both sides, B cleaning up. Really good on him. I. That's a lot of damage. I don't know... 
I don't know if Beastie can come back, but again, B took so much damage as well. This is this is pretty crazy. I don't really know what to say about that. That was that was hot. <laughs> Good damn. Good job, B. <laughs> Good job, Beastie. But all in all, pretty even. Right now, B does have the advantage because he is still getting units for free. You know, um, you can't counteract that. And even though Beastie has the Sacred Sights, it's good for him. It does put a little bit of pressure on B that he actually has to go clear this, but he should be able to clear it quite easily. <laughs> so, right now... Let's see what's happening. I think that's the wrong way, good sir. Yeah, that's the wrong way. That's the wrong way. That's, that's the wrong way. So he is going to decap the Sacred Sight eventually, but... Right now, let's see what Beastie's gonna do because of that. I feel like Beastie isn't the kind of guy that's just gonna sit back and let him decap the sacred side. He's gonna counterattack, like he is now. So he's gonna counterattack because he knows that reinforcements are coming and he has the mobility now. B is the one who has to react and get the sacred side down. So he knows that he's gonna have to reinforce from behind. Now, what I told you guys earlier, Beastie doesn't have safe food. So, and this is seeing that in action. There's no way for Beastie to get safe food right now. There's no wood to get farms right now. Beastie is in a little bit of a pickle. The fact that food is going to be so scarce, this feels like... I don't know if you guys remember, most of you probably won't remember, the game between Marine Lord and Beastie a while ago. It was in another tournament. He also was playing Delhi, and he had to go all the way to another part of the map for food. And I just remember Marine Lord... Oh, God! Oh, no! They're already dead! <laughs> oh gosh, those villagers, that, that's, that's a lot of damage. Yeah, that tower was a little bit of a waste at the back. And B, decapping the sacred sites. Or oh, the sacred site, singular. Now, the food is coming into play. Safe food for Delhi is just not an option here in this match. So, that's, that's the difference between... B. B is just a very aggressive player and he knows how to deal with these types of situations. That's why I think this is a very good round for B as well. He's just going to do an amazing job counterplaying these types of games. Now the thing is Beastie has been holding these sacred sites for a while but honestly it's pretty even right now. I don't know Beastie can't age up. B looks like he's in a much better position. He still has food. He has safe food popping up every few seconds. This is looking... I don't know, I feel like it's looking bad for Beastie. I'm not sure what the pros would say. But, let's see. Let's see if Beastie can ca catch him off guard here. His army is split, but I don't... Ooh, those spearmen are gonna hurt a lot. What are you doing, horses? What are you doing? Just dying for nothing, that's what you're doing. At least he gets one horse, but that's not gonna be enough. We know... He gets free units. We have to be able to counteract free units. And honestly, Beastie doesn't have wood. He can't deal with these harassments. Even if you just make a little wall here, you need to be able to defend this. But right now, look at all those scholars. Oh, God, they could all die. They could all die. Ah, oh, they could all die right now. He needs to target down the spearmen with his archers as well. This is a very dangerous fight for Beastie. I think that this is going to be the game decider right here. If he can focus down those spearmen, then maybe his horses can survive. But right now, I honestly... These scholars are healing, but are they healing enough? They are... We can see the army supply dwindling down. These guys are trying their best. The horses... He just has more horses. Now, the spearmen do go down. He needs to get that one as well. There are more reinforcements coming his way. And I don't think BC realizes. He's just running right into the spearmen. Now... I honestly, the upgrades are even, and now the upgrades are coming in from um, B as well. If he waited maybe an extra second, he would have had an even cleaner fight. This is pretty good for B. This is pretty good for B. I honestly thought this fight would be over much quicker. <laughs> Scholars really extended, don't they? Woo! That's a long fight. Okay, get the Sapahi. But now, with the upgrade coming through, I think this is going to be quite difficult for Beastie to beat. Um, right now, he's uh, getting an extra Scholar. B is also supplying his army, right? I don't think he sh should be able to break this. Okay, so B only has archers left, most of them at least. Um, Horsey's coming in a little bit here and there, but Beastie's army is dwindling. He doesn't have enough army to take him out anymore. He doesn't have enough army to deal with this. B is sniping down his scholars as well. We, 
saw a lot more scholars at the beginning. So let's see how many he has now. Oh, oh, oh. I keep selecting these. I need to be able to... Ah. Ah. How do I switch? Ah, I don't know how to switch. Ah. Budget. <laughs> All right. So now let's go here. We see cleaning up, cleaning up. They are just ignoring that horse completely. They're like, ah, oh, we don't really care about you. Actually, it's uh, but with our horses coming in, I think Beastie just overextended here. If he went back, maybe. But here he just threw it again. That was not a smart move, Beastie. That was a very bad move. But let's check here. The sacred site is still up. This one uncontested. And right now Beastie is struggling a little bit on the gold as well. Even though he had, he's only down to one sacred site. He doesn't have any backup for this. He's getting some horses, but right now, honestly, these archers are making his life a living hell. I don't think these scholars are enough to carry him through this game. The free supply from B is just too much to handle right now. He has three military schools, so this means he, uh, he got the talent where he can get an extra military school as well. And this is going to mean that he's just going to continually make more units than Beastie. There's no way for him to get outperformed. Let's see if he can get down that Mehter. If he gets the Mehter, he does have a little bit more of a chance, but he lost 17 scholars there. This is GG. This is GG. B has got this game right now. There's no way to save this one, and we can see it coming through to the end. So, this should be B's final push. He is putting on a lot of pressure, and that's it. Yeah, there's no way. I think the, the deciding thing in this match is definitely the the fact that there was no safe food for Beastie. Um, but again, that's an unlucky spawn. I'm B, B really outplayed, don't get me wrong, but Beastie didn't harass Yeah, as well. He should have harassed if he wanted to get B's food. But yeah, Delhi struggles with food. You need to account for that. You need to make sure you have the wood. I don't know, this is a difficult one. Let's see. Yeah, he's got rams. He knows what's coming. <laughs> yeah, and Beastie cannot produce to keep up. You can see the gold, the difference in income here is just way too significant for him. Beastie is going to the back line, but I think it's a little bit too late. You should have done this uh, 20 minutes ago. <laughs> not 20 minutes, but a long time ago. This is not going to do any damage right now. You are needed in your base, good sir. Right now, this is not going to do anything beneficial for you. The thing about Delhi is you have the upgrades um, a lot earlier, but you have to use them. And he, I feel like he didn't use his upgrades. So Beastie didn't use his upgrades, and this is definitely what's going to cause the, the difference between these two players in this round. Okay, yeah, this is a GG, a very, very GG, very, very easy. <laughs> But yeah, I honestly thought that Delhi would outperform this. I thought Delhi would be a much stronger sieve in this. I think Beastie just threw away too many fights. He went for fights that were not that were not in his advantage. Because like I said, you Ottomans has the free units. You need to you need to train favorably. If you don't train favorably, you can't you shouldn't trade. You should stay back. But yeah, I think we're also still seeing what the what the sieves can do. You're still seeing whether some sieves are what what the Delhi nerf can do because this is a new patch. A lot of people don't even know what this feels like yet. So, like previous Delhi would be able to outfight that easily, but current Delhi not a chance. So well played, B. Love what a chat. Oh damn. <laughs> This is gonna be a good set of matches. One one. Who lost all their channel points? Huh? Damn. B. That's pretty even up until here. I think that was the... That was one of those deciding fights and yet again... I don't know why Beastie took them. It was very strange to see him take those fights. That's a... Uh, don't discount B, guys. Don't discount B. I know you guys are Beastie fans, but uh, don't discount B. He's, uh, he's been showing up a lot recently. So, yeah, that's an OP odd. That is a... Uh, that is a very good uh, amount of channel points you now have. 